This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media. And today is November 20th, 2015. Well, traditional television viewing is down 5% over the period Q1 2014 to Q1 2015. And in the 18 to 24 year olds, it's down 16%. And it seems like industry executives are about ready to do something about it. Uh, Jeff Bukes, who is Time Warner's CEO, is pinning the blame firmly on SVOD services like Netflix and Amazon and he says he is evaluating increasing the time between first air and and licensing to SV, SVOD services to a multi-year uh, length and that could mean as much as four years. Now today many providers license that content within a year or at the end of a, of, of a season or in some cases even earlier than that but he's going to he's thinking he's going to push his licensing out to multi-years and he's not alone in this feeling about SVOD. Charlie Ergen who is Dish, Dish's CEO says he well he couldn't agree more he says it's easy to get to the end of the year the end of the quarter and sell some content out the back door and basically not worry about how this might be impacting your core business. He and Bukes think watching ad-free on SVOD is damaging the traditional linear experience. Uh, and he hopes, I guess they hope, that others will join. So others, are others thinking of joining this revolution against SVOD and withholding their content for much longer periods? Well, at least initially, it looks like not so much. For example, AMC Networks CEO Josh Sapin says that he's sticking with the one-year window that he currently has for many of his shows like The Walking Dead and Breaking Bad. And, well, he should stick with that window because SVOD has helped him build his audience. Breaking Bad, for example, was a very slow starter. Uh, but really... What SVOD allowed uh, that show to do was for people to catch up and then come to the show ready for the new season. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, it got The show got a buzz. People were able to watch on SVOD. And the audience at the end of one season was much smaller at, than the audience at the beginning of the next season. And this effect happened with The Walking Dead as well. Well, are broadcasters willing to do this? CBS's Les Moonves certainly doesn't seem to be in that mood. He's just re to deal with Amazon for his summer shows. Uh, shows like Extent and Under the Dome. He has been licensing to Amazon just four days after its initial air on linear television. And uh, why is he doing this? Well, he's doing this for two reasons. One, of course, it's extra revenue and who doesn't want that? But the second reason is that it is helping people catch a show that they might have missed and get back in sync with it so that they can come back to the linear broadcast and see the ads so he gains in two ways there and the truth is that Jeff Bukes and Charlie Ergen are not lily white when it comes to SVOD services for example uh, Jeff Bukes has HBO, of course, in his uh, Time Warner Inc. Uh, portfolio, and Time and HBO is putting everything it has as soon as it has broadcast. In fact, simultaneously with broadcast on its new direct-to-consumer HBO Now service, available without a pay TV subscription. Now, while this isn't about ads, because of course HBO doesn't carry ads, it does undermine the whole proposition of pay television and traditional TV viewing, uh, which ha cannot be hurting, cannot be helping his sh uh, other properties like TNT and TBS. And now, and Charlie, er Charlie Ergen saying licensing out the back door. Well, I tell you, he certainly would like you licensing out the back door to his Sling TV. Sling TV, of course, is a bargain basement a TV sh service online providing many of the most popular channels like ESPN, TNT, TNT and TBS. Uh, and uh, this is all available for $20 a month. Uh, and... 
the signs are that he is also feeling the pain of the SVOD services uh, and, and online services like his Sling TV because Sling TV is rumored to have picked up about 150,000 subscribers in the Q3 of 2015 and his DISH platform, his DISH satellite service lost about the same number of subscribers. Uh, so, uh, kind of ironic there, I think. And the truth is that there is no easy answer to consumers switching from linear viewing to SVOD. Reed Hastings, uh, CEO of Netflix, has said many times that he thinks that SVOD is just a better way of watching television. And for dramas and comedy, watching it ad-free, uninterrupted, I'm going to tell you, it, it certainly is a better experience than watching on the ad-laden broadcast uh, linear television channels. Uh, so I'm not sure that there will be a, any more major content providers lining up behind Mr. Ergen and Mr. Bukes. Now, if you want to know a lot more about this subject, there's a great piece on my site that you can read uh, on end screen media called Four Reasons the SVOD Genie Won't Go Back in the Bottle. Uh, so, so just come to my site and uh, search on Genie and you're sure to find that. This has been Colin Dixon and I'll see you again next time. Thank you.